Starting plants from seed can save you so much money, and I swear it's really easy, but I have seen some common mistakes that could lead to failure. Firstly, you gotta choose the right plant. Cilantro, terrible plant to buy at the store, because I feel like every time I buy a guy at the store, it's really mature, and it's close to bolting, which means like it's going to flower and basically die. But when you start them from seed nice and young, Firstly, they sprout so easily. This is the first time I've ever grown cilantro from seed and every single one of them sprouted. So I have, I'd say about a dozen plants inside this one pot. And so I can separate them in a couple of weeks. Now you gotta keep in mind, a usual single cilantro plant would be like two to $4 at a local nursery. So a dozen of these, that's like $30 savings there. And I have more, this is just one pot. I have like about six pots like this. And this cauliflower, it's purple cauliflower. I actually got this seed packet from seed. <laughs> They're obviously seed. I got these from a local library actually for free. They have these seed library exchange programs. And the idea is, is that you give seeds back at the end of the season. But a lot of libraries will just let you take them and you know, on good faith, you grow them and have a fun time. That's what libraries are there for, for education. So anyway, cauliflower grows really well. Notice, kind of cold outside. Maybe you don't notice because I'm wearing shorts, but I have goosebumps because I don't know why I do this to myself. I should be wearing a jacket. Anyway, um, so point being is cilantro, cauliflower, kale, all of these are seeds that you can start in cooler weather. So that's a mistake that I see a lot of times is that people are trying to grow really warm weather seeds inside their house without any extra light. That's gonna cause these sprouts to grow really tall and new seed Gardeners are gonna be like, wow, I have these super tall sprouts, I'm doing really well, and then they die, and then people are like, what happened? Why did these beautiful tall sprouts die? The reason why is because they got really tall reaching for light, and they didn't get the light they needed, so they died. So my recommendation is if you wanna start your eggplant, your tomatoes, all of that stuff inside the house, you wanna do that and under grow lights, or just wait until it's warm enough outside and let Mother Nature take care of it. But if you are, you know, obviously trying to save money, you maybe don't have grow lights. And so you could just start these cooler weather veggies inside maybe a week or two early and then bring them outside in March in my climate or maybe April if you're a little bit cooler. When I was in South Carolina, I would put them in February. Basically, you want the temperature to be like 50 degrees during the daytime and not too much below freezing at night. That's usually when you can start growing your leafy greens like broccoli and cilantro, even parsley, kale. All of those will usually start to sprout when these temperatures get like that. Uh, a couple of other issues that I've seen is that the soil, when it's very dry, will resist actually getting water. So if you have dry soil to start and then you plant seeds in that dry soil, it's not going to hold on to the water that that seed needs to sprout and grow really well. So I recommend pre-soaking the soil in water and that way it's nice and wet and can really hold on to water and moisture well when you put those seeds in. Seeds are very tiny too, some of them at least. Your sunflowers, your squash, all of that's really easy to do with kids, but broccoli's tough. Some plants even have smaller seeds than this. And so I use a toothpick to help keep track of those and it makes it so easy and so much cleaner. You just sort of like scratch it right onto the surface of the soil and maybe lightly bury it, but not much. They really don't need to be buried. And that's really about it. In a couple of weeks you get sprouts and happy gardening because it's that easy. Bye guys.